precision, power, perfection. These aren't just words. They're the benchmark of a top-tier miter saw. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of these masterful tools. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a DIY enthusiast, get ready to discover the best miter saws that will define your crafting game. To help get you to the right model, we've listed the top six miter saws and their key features, plus the things you'll need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. Let's get started. Number six, Craftsman V20 Cordless, seven and a quarter inch sliding miter saw kit. The most significant benefit of the Craftsman V20 is its small footprint and lightweight design. Also, the ability for it to be used even when electricity isn't available. Lithium ion batteries are getting more powerful, and this miter saw can make up to 585 cuts through a three and a quarter inch medium density fiber board on a single charge. It accepts a Craftsman 20 volt rechargeable battery, which is included along with the battery charger. This miter saw features a powerful motor that spins a blade at a rate of 3,800 revolutions per minute, making it well suited to cut wall studs, baseboards, and molding with ease. It also slides, making it possible to cut boards up to eight inches wide. We weren't exactly sure what we'd find with the Craftsman V20 saw, mainly due to its weight, it's just 31 pounds, and the large number of plastic pieces. But it was easy to put together, cut well, and was shockingly quiet. We could see using the saw for projects like flooring or trim work, though it did handle the construction lumber. Our only real qualms were the plastic and a single bevel action, rather than dual. Number five, Delta 10-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. The Delta 10-inch miter saw is about getting woodworking right with precision and efficiency. Unlike a regular saw, it can do tricky angles without a fuss and both right-handed and left-handed folks can use it comfortably. In our test, we didn't miss a beat. From cutting fiddly crown moldings to chunky baseboards, this saw made the cuts perfect every time. In testing, several things stood out on the Delta. First, adjusting it was a breeze thanks to the easy access lever for both miter and bevel angles. While the sawdust bag didn't work well, it's got a clever port that sucks up the sawdust when connected to a vacuum. This saw felt solid and was ready to go right out of the box. No fiddling with adjustments. With miter saws used for making precise cuts, such as coping angles, it's essential to check the fence and blade for correct calibration, which we did using a speed square. Had it been out of alignment, we would have needed to make adjustments via the tool's bevel adjustment bolt. However, the Delta came perfectly calibrated and no adjustments were needed. Many of the miter saws we tested came with positive stop detents that allow us to quickly set the most common angles for cutting. But the Delta takes this convenience one step further. This saw also features positive miter and bevel stops for inside coping joints with a 33.85 degree bevel and a 31.62 degree miter. This makes the Delta saw handy for trim and finished carpenters who regularly fit coping joints. It's also capable of cutting boards up to 16 inches wide. The Delta is a smart pick for pros who want an advanced trim cutting tool that's precise, tough, and versatile for their woodworking tasks. It is a corded model though, so it requires access to an electrical outlet. Number four, Metabo HPT C10 FCGS 10 inch compound miter saw. If you only expect you'll need a miter saw occasionally or for one big project redoing flooring making a piece of furniture or cutting trim, there's no need to spend a lot of money on your miter saw. Instead, consider the Metabo HPT. That's the new name for the Hitachi C10 FCGS 10-inch compound miter saw. While there's no sliding rails for cutting wider materials, nor a laser for extra guidance, the maximum width is 5 and 21 30 seconds inches. You get a saw with a 15 amp motor, no load top speed of 5,000 RPMs, a bevel range of 0 to 45 degrees to the left, and a miter range of 0 to 52 degrees to the left or right. That's pretty much all you need to tackle most DIY projects around your home or workshop. The miter saw includes a dust bag, 10-inch 24-tooth saw blade, and vice assembly. 
Number three, Skill MS6305 Dual Bevel Sliding Miter Saw. Skill's new collection of powerful tools designed for value make them a popular option. Their sliding miter saw with serious capacity won't make the super wide cuts of a 12 inch slider, but can handle most of your projects with power and accuracy. It has all the bells and whistles of higher priced sliders, including dual bevel capability and a tall fence for vertical molding cuts with outstanding reviews on a variety of popular retail sites. What sets it apart is an especially powerful 15 amp motor which slides through the thickest, toughest boards without hesitation. Miter and bevel settings are accurate and easy to adjust. Users say they appreciate the comfortable horizontal handle, accurate LED cut alignment system, and work supports that slide out from the base. Number two, Bosch GCM 12SD 12 inch dual bevel glide miter saw. The Bosch GMC 12SD 12 inch miter saw comes with a sliding arm that allowed us to cut boards up to 14 inches wide. The saw comes with pull out material supports on both sides to stabilize boards up to 40 inches long, and it cuts compound bevels in both directions. The clear saw guard on the Bosch miter saw is designed not to obstruct the user's view of the cut, and we were able to clearly see our cut lines from start to finish. The trigger handle features an ergonomic grip that can be used by either right-handed or left-handed users just as comfortably, and it features a padded non-slip grip. Fences are adjustable, and the miter scale numbers are etched into stainless steel for durability. During testing, we found that the Bosch shawl truly does belong at the top of this list. First, it has a zero clearance slide arm that can sit up against the wall if necessary. The smooth zero clearance arm makes accurate cuts. Also, there wasn't any assembly to deal with, and there are lots of additional references for roof rafters and valley cuts built in. The dust collection, outstanding, and the motor is incredibly powerful. The only qualms anyone might have with this saw is that it's a little heavy for carrying around the shop, and there aren't any lasers or lights. Number one, DeWalt DWS 716 XPS Sliding Miter Saw. Known for tough, dependable power tools, DeWalt's Sliding Miter Saw checks every box. It's got enough power to cut through the toughest timber without faltering, and its solid sliding rails deliver extra smooth cuts. With category-leading cross-cut capacity, thanks to an innovative fence design, it's tall enough to let you tip large workpieces on edge for specialized cuts. It also features a wider miter range than the competition, with miter and bevel angles that are easy to adjust and hold their settings. Dust collection is very good, with vac attached. Although pricey, this saw is a bargain for pros and serious DIYers. And there you have it, the rundown on the top miter saws in the market today. Precision, power, and performance are critical in any crafting or construction project, and the right miter saw can make all the difference. Whether you're making intricate cuts for detailed woodworking or you need rugged reliability for heavy-duty jobs, there's a miter saw on this list tailored for you. Remember, investing in the right tool not only ensures the quality of your work, but also the enjoyment of the process. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your fellow craftsmen, and subscribe for more top-tier reviews. Until next time, keep crafting with confidence.